How's it going, everybody? It's PJ for PJ Play on Twitch, PJ over on YouTube. Uh, we're on a little car mechanic simulator uh, 2018 this afternoon. Uh, we're going to try and finish up the story mission that we have um, over there on the lift. That's the last one in the garage, but as you can see, we've been getting a lot of calls that have been piling up, so we're going to try and burn through several many of these uh, of these jobs. I'm going to turn down my mouse just a little bit. Hopefully that'll work. Um, I forgot what this was. I think The one thing I do remember is it, it doesn't run. So I was trying to get it. We got a lot of parts not discovered. Hello? What can I say? Those used car dealers are a special kind. My crown, which I recently got from one of those clowns, is becoming worse with each passing day. Do a general inspection and replace any worn out parts. Thanks. Change the oil, drain the old, and refill with new. Okay. So that's as I kind of expected. The biggest problem is um, we ran some tests on it, I believe. Uh, we went with the... Oh, I didn't, I didn't select it. you got to select the engine, then you get your testing. Um, the OBD scanner is going to give us some information about the state of the car. Uh, if it doesn't start, we can't get it over to the test path, which again would be a very useful diagnosis. Oh, yeesh. <laughs> All right, so we got a bad ABS module. We have one, not one, not two, but three bad spark plugs. We have one, two, three bad ignition coils, and we've got a bad catalytic converter. Okay, the ABS module and the catalytic converter shouldn't keep it from starting, but the three spark plugs and the three ignition coils, that can keep, keep it from starting and we only have a four cylinder so we can go ahead and do that let's go ahead and check that out this one looks bad 13 percent this one looks bad 16 percent and then this one here uh let me try to get away from it and you can see the rust there's no real color outside of rust on this so i'm saying this is the last one 18 percent this is the good one which is at 58 percent um 14%, 13%, 13%. Okay, so the three bad spark plugs are underneath the three bad ignition coils. Um, let's run over. Oh, let's run over to the bench just in case. Um, if we can fix it, we should fix it. Hey, that's a pretty good rim. Whose rim is that? Mine now. This shouldn't be charged to that. All right, so that's that. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab our laptop. Nope, that's not the laptop. That is right there. And we're going to go to regular parts because they don't want high pro, which comes at high price. Ignition coil. We're going to grab three of these three enter okay and we need sparker plugs I know they're not called sparker plugs oops what S P A R K spark there it is oh I put an S that was probably <laughs> All right, it's three spark plugs and three ignition coils. We're going to get this thing rocking and rolling here. Uh, this will get a new plug. This will get a new plug. This will get a new plug. And then this one gets the same old plug. Same thing with the ignition coils. That'll get a new one. That'll get a new one. Although that head looks bad too. I'm sure at some point we're going to wind up pulling that. And that one can go back on there. So, can we start it? Can't get in. I have to move it in order to move it. What we can do is we can try to move it. And if it will, it will go. But if not, there you go. Okay, so that was it. 
The three spark plugs and the three ignition coils were what were keeping it from starting. Now we got it started. We can get it on the ignition, uh, the test path. This is the test path. You have two diagnostic tools, the test path and the test track. If you're out there and you've tuned in, I appreciate it. You want to drop me a line, just let me know you're out there. Just say hi, I appreciate it. I'm going to do the brake tests. We're first testing the front brakes. They look like they're in good shape. Test the back brakes. Again, don't seem to be having issues with the brakes. We know we still got an ABS pump that's out and a uh, uh, catalytic converter. So we, we know those two things will have to get repaired. All right, the suspension looks good too. Let's do the backs. Nice GPS system right in the dash there. That's pretty cool. All right, so the brake servo. So we got an ABS pump and a brake servo. Oh. Huh. This engine had a lot more problems than that. Um, let's send it back to lift one. It's closer. Alright. Like I said, you can see all the rust on the head, cover, even the block. Where the head and the block are not in great shape, but... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, I still didn't mean to do that. Um, so there's the brake servo. What am I doing? I'm testing, that's it. I know we did this before, but... So this is the fuel pressure testing. This is going to tell us that our fuel rail D1 is at 56%. We did... Did we replace the fuel pump? I'm not sure. 56% on that as well. So the t uh, fuel system, tire tread tester, we'll test it. Test everything, you know? You're ne you never go wrong with too much information, right? If you can't test it, go ahead. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't contribute anything more to the, uh, to the bill, so you're not running up the cost. Electric tester. I still think we're going to have to examine that. And the intake manifold, too, we're going to have to take a look at. The battery and the alternator, I think I did fix those, didn't I? Starter, everything's at 56%. And then last, and then the compression tester. Okay, the crankshaft, and then two pistons with connecting rods. So this is going to be a teardown. Close her up. Back her out. Let's see what we're doing here. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and clear out my inventory. Um, yeah, let's clear it out because of the fact that... A lot of this stuff is junk. We've already gone to the workbench and we worked on the stuff we could work on. So the rest of this stuff is really garbage. Boom, 30%, 34%. I'm thinking we'll sell off everything that's under 50%. I could go higher, but I don't want to risk it. These things are still good. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to lose those. Chrysler Cordoba. I'm excited about the Cordoba. Anybody else? Show of hands. Show of hands. Anybody? <laughs> just me? I think it's just me. All right, so let's go ahead and sell parts. We're going to go up to about 50%. Oop, that's 49. Oh, we do have arrows. Yes. Okay, so that gets rid of a lot of it. Then we're going to go to the warehouse. We're going to go to OK Parts, which is not the first one, but I think it's the second warehouse we have. We're going to get rid of this, 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 this. That can go. 
that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there, and that goes in there. Okay. Then we're going to go to one of my... I am going to... We're going to go visit three barn locations before we get out of here today. Because, as you can see, I have all of these barn locations um, sitting in my... I have a whole warehouse just dedicated to barn locations. And I'm sure with five crates here, I'm going to wind up with more. Um, so I'm going to try and visit every barn, um, every place on the map. And then start opening them up again. Let's see what we get. Goodies time. All right. Wheel hub three, water pump I six, and a gearbox for an I four. We'll collect those. Yes. All right, another barn location. Belt, serpentine belt. Timing chain, not even close. Thermostat, timing chain, and another barn location. We will collect those. Nothing high pro yet. Engine head. Gearbox. Engine head B for a V6C. Front exhaust pipe for a V8 overhead valve C. Gearbox rot A. I think that's the one we were looking for. Wasn't that the one we were just looking for? And I had like two high pro and I couldn't get them repaired on this bench for some reason. Does anybody know if that's terminal? I mean, if I couldn't get it repaired this time, does that mean it'll never get repaired? Or will I be able to get it repaired maybe so at some other point? Maybe out there, no? Because I'm not sure. At this point, I'm just writing it off. If it, If it's in my... If it's in my inventory and I go to the bench and it doesn't pop up as something I can fix, I kind of am just counting it out. I'm going, okay, that's it, fine. That's, we're never going to get that fixed, so we're going to move on without it. Okay, we're in the goodies bin, so we'll throw all the goodies in the goodies bin. And um, I don't know if it'll be... It's definitely not going to be this... Um, this episode we're going to take care of some work orders i think today but the next work uh, the next one maybe i might i might start working on projects again project cars so uh we're definitely going to make make use of uh all right there we go now we're cleared out oof and i ran right into tools all right so now we're going to have to take this engine apart to uh, get to the uh Piston with connecting rods, so we're going to have to take out all of this stuff, which is fine, because I think we fixed it, so that's okay. Um, oh, you know what else we got to do before we do that? All right, well, we could take the ignition off. It's not going to be able to go. But before we go any further, let us get this thing up in the air. We got to drain the fluids out of it, otherwise we're going to make a big mess on the floor. And that's part of the job anyway, is to um, change the oil. So we'll go ahead and drain it here, make it a little bit easier to work with. We don't have to worry about it pouring out. Use that. Lift one. Nope. Use equipment. There you go. Doesn't seem like a lot of oil. <laughs> Okay, so now the car is drained of oil. We can um, plow ahead here. Actually, let's do this. We got one. 18 seconds. Uh, this one. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Oopsie poopsie. All right, so you can go into um, lift two. What do we got? Um, 32 seconds. You can go to lift three. 25 seconds. You can go... Oh, it's a camper. Cool. My first Bolt Atlanta camper. I've heard 
I've heard, I've heard stories, but much like the Sasquatch, I have never seen the actual camper. Look at there. So this will be our first camper we're going to work on. We're going to put that, that's the Bolt Atlanta. Move you over to two. Okay. So there's our jobs. Now we're after it. We're going to get after it here. Okay. Now we've got our um, ignition out. Uh, let's take the throttle, 26%. Intake manifold. Um, it's so nice that you can do this, but in reality, there'd be no way I could get back here. <laughs> One of the most difficult things would be taking this thing off. Okay, intake manifolds at 19%. Um, and those numbers are coming, they're up here in the upper left-hand corner. So if you're wondering how I can call that out, it's right there. Obviously, we've got a uh, bad ABS module. It said pump, but you can look at this module and you just know this module's not in much better 10%. We know that pump's got to get replaced. We know the servo's going to have to get replaced or at least repaired. I'm hoping by taking it off the car, um, I can take it over to the bench and we can get it uh, worked on. Hopefully, we'll save the client some cash money, which is always good. Intake manifold for an I4. Oh, we got to take the turbo off first? Really? Why wouldn't you take the manifold off first? You can unbolt this and then unbolt this and take this off. But whatever. They got us doing the turbo first. There you go. Now the turbo's off. And the turbo just fits between the manifold and the front exhaust section. So it just sits in here. Huh. Now we can take the manifold. All right, that's connected to the head. What else is connected to the head? We got timing, timing cover. This is also uh, what's kind of holding the engine head. Oh, I could take the, oh, that's just the head cover. Okay, there's no rhyme or reason to it. See, here you go. Um, the camshaft, though, we can't go any further than this because this camshaft, uh, the timing gears are up here, which are under the timing cover, and they are connected by a, a belt that runs through. So the first thing we'd have to do to get the cover off is we've got to remove the tension. And then, uh, well, we can't. we got to take this belt first. Okay. That belt. And we're going to take this belt. We're going to need to remove the water pump pulley and the water pump I guess. They seem to be one and the same on this. Some engines you got your water pump and then there's a pulley attached to it. This one seemed like it was a twofer. There's that. Okay so here's the timing belt. 12%. Yeah all of this stuff is just horrible dude. Cam gears. That cam gear was at 28%. Now we, well, now that we've pulled the cam gears off, we should be able to get the cam shafts off. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, see, one of them looks worse than the other. The one closest to us looks like that one's shot. So this one's going to wind up needing replacement at 12%. This one probably will be okay. 56%. Um, all right. So the fuel rail on the back. We need to remove that as well. That's at 56%. Now we can get the engine head off. All right, that's a cooked engine head right there. All right, so we want to get into investigation or, or as they like to call it, examine mode. And we're looking at the second and fourth because if you're looking at this the front typically the front of the engine is where the timing gears are and everything are so that was this side and i think they number them from the front to the back so front of the engines here one two three four and then you got your gearbox here which is usually in the back of your engine so so it's going to be 
cylinders two and four and this power steering pump looks like it's shot as well 26 percent okay so two and four and that means we're gonna have to uh, remove the oil pan oh you should shut the hood <laughs> otherwise you could wind up completely organ uh uh what do you call it? Um, what do they call a squeeze box? I can't remember. Um, but you'll crumple it up. And again, we were saying gearbox is the back, so this would be four here. So we're going to remove, it was two and four, so we're going to remove this one. And, well, we're going to, actually, we need to remove everything, because look at, um, Look at that crankshaft. A lot of rust on there. Let's go to examine mode. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even have to examine it. It quite literally just said, yeah, I'm broke. Can you fix me? <laughs> Alright, so all of these are yellow, which is not red, but if we're going to pull them off anyway, we might as well. We might as well. Nope, wrong one. That's what we want. Okay, so we're going to start pulling off these crankshaft bearings. We'll remove the rest of these rod caps. I'm not going to take the... Don't Never say never is what I'm trying to... I seem to have forgotten. Never say never. Because I say that, but there's nothing that doesn't... That, you know, we may wind up having to do more actual work on this thing. And if that happens, then as you can see, we're pretty much just down to the block. And I, I think I'm going to have to take out all of the pistons in order to get the crankshaft out, even though I've I've done I've done a yeoman's job. But yeah, we're going to have to take that. All right, so. Oh. That seems to be a lot harder than it needs to be. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Okay, so there's that. Um, what else do we got? The engine block is orange. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. All right, so what else is red? Crankshaft, let's get the crankshaft out. I don't know if we can fix exhaust parts on the uh, bench but let's pull it so that's yeah that's that's a pretty good way to do it I'm just you know for me um, since you can fix things on the bench it's always best I think to uh, oh that's right we got to move okay kids we're in for the long haul here in order to get the crankshaft out because as you can see crankshaft um, is is what turns all of your timing gears and everything it also turns your gear uh, your gearbox so um, in order to get the crankshaft out which we obviously have to do because it's busted we have to get the gearbox off well in order to get the gearbox off <laughs> we have to take off the front drive shaft we have to take off the front drive axle the front drive axle of course is connected to the suspension front suspension so in order to get the front drive axle off we have to remove um, I don't think we have to do too much we do have to remove the tire um, but I think we could then remove it from there yeah there you go so there's the nut for that we're gonna pull that out there's that we got another one on the other side that's also tied in so we'll have to pull this as well There 
there's that. Now we can pull the drive axle, uh, shaft, the drive shaft, and now we can get the gearbox off. Oh no, we gotta take the starter. Starter, starter, starter. It's gonna make me, is it gonna make me? It's gonna make me drop it. But I could reach it, it was right there. Starter, there it is. Nope. Starter. Part of the engine block. We gotta get under the block, we got under the car for that. And we'll shut that. Accordion, right? Is that the word? Accordion? So if it goes up and you got the hood up and it comes up to here, you could get a huge dent, divot in the hood. It could just, uh, like I say, just kind of bend the hood up a little bit, bow it out of shape. So the best thing is to be safe and just, um, yeah, make sure you shut it before you raise the lift. Uh, don't start bad habits. Just get in the habit of always shutting it, and then you got no problem. Oosh. They don't look, they're obviously not brandy dandy new, but they don't actually look horrible. There it is. Now we can get the crankshaft out. All right, let's take a look at our job order. Fuel pump, throttle, intake manifold, timing cover, timing belt, engine head cover, ABS module, ABS pump, two parts not discovered, idle roller A, belt tensioner, cam gear, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, ignition coil, ignition coil, ignition coil, turbo, tur <sighs> turbo charger, brake, servo, camshaft, serpentine belt A, serpentine belt B, power steering pump, alternator, Crankshaft pulley, water pump, battery, piston with conrod, piston with conrod, crankshaft, catalytic converter, part not discovered, middle muffler, part not discovered, front exhaust section, engine head, exhaust manifold, I-4, engine block. Yeah, so we got to pull the block out as well. Okay. Okay, this just got real. <laughs> And if we're going to pull the block out, then I think what we're going to do is maybe we'll just reassemble on on the uh, stand, right? Because once we get it all reassembled, that's right here. I've already I've already found one of the parts. We'll have to lift that for that. Um, if I look at this, you see the wear on the uh, air filter? Oh nope, radiator housing. Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yank this. Let's take a look. 56, 56. Really? Really? You're gonna, you're gonna lie to me about it? We've got a, another uh, small inner cooler. Um, investigation mode. I have to take these off to, to inspect them? Alright, well, inspect away. 57%. Under, I gotta get under the car for that one. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sometimes that drives you nuts, just the constant up and down. You know, the intercooler, I have to get under the car for the intercooler, really? I mean, come on, really? All right, let's pull it. Fifty-six percent. We need a new air filter, obviously. Air filter base. No, it's still in good shape. Okay. Oil filter. Hmm. Fuel filter. 56%. Alright, we gotta have to we have to take that oil filter off before we can uh, pull the engine out. What was it? Oh, the wheels. I th thought I was asking it to lower it. Okay. And pull that out. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And this. Is 
and that and that so those are two parts that we didn't uh, warrant on the list that the entire exhaust section is going to have to be replaced fuel filter looks like it's okay to me so i'm thinking we're okay let's go to the workbench and see what we can fix lots of parts here so we got the exhaust manifold for the i4 turbo Okay, so nine dollars for the crankshaft, plus another fourteen. That's twenty-three plus seven. That's thirty dollars to rehabilitate the crankshaft. Intake manifold I4 D1. That's twenty-one bucks, and it was fixed for twenty-one dollars. Not bad. Timing cover for an I4 four dollars. Add another four dollars to make it eight. There you go. The throttle, twelve bucks to recondition the model. Uh, the throttle. Plus another 15, that makes it 27. $27 to recondition the throttle. Not bad. Pete, Pete's discount car repairs. Come on, give me some. Give me some love. Power steering pump I4, 12 bucks. Another 13, that'd be 25. Oh, look at that. You can't get a new power steering pump for $25. Get out of here. <laughs> Engine head I4, 104 plus 110, that's 214 bucks, but it's fixed. Fixed, didn't have to buy a new one. Uh, I'm not going to do that because that's not on the list. If it's not on the list, I'm not going to do it because a lot of times it's like, oh, you're being a nice guy or not. Yeah, but you're running up the uh, running up the bill on your clients, um, and they're not going to thank you for it. <laughs> they will not. Um, let's go ahead and create a new engine. No, I don't want to create a new engine. Can I? Add engine on to create. There are no items to work with. Okay, so it won't let me do that, even though I haven't. Uh, don't I? Yeah, see, they do, don't let you recondition pistons with con rod, uh, connecting rods or exhaust. Where is the uh, block? Right? Didn't they pull the block or no? No, it's still sitting there. That's why. Duh. All right, so back to the. There it is. 180 bucks. 180 dollars. I reconditioned that entire engine bar for 180 bucks. Now I should be able to put this. There are no items to work with. I got the block. What are you talking about? Let me put the block on there. There it is, right there. Engine block, 100%. You won't let me put that engine block on there? No. Or is that it? It's an I-4, right? Dual overhead cam. So I click that. I'm going to add my engine block. That I have. Well, there you go. Okay. So that's what I had to do. I did have to go to uh, build a new engine. This guy's going to be over the moon when he gets this thing back. Although, um, he may not like the price. <laughs> we'll have to take a look. We're going to go ahead and flip this around a little bit so we can work. Get that crankshaft back in there. There it is. We need some bearing caps. 56%. Bearing caps are not on the list. Again, that's what we have to be aware of, is what is on the list and what isn't on the list. The bearing caps did not make the list, but we do know that the um, we do know that the uh, crankshaft was. So so there's that. Now what we need to do is, right, let's come over here and we'll just, oh, it won't show until we're done putting it back together. Okay. But that's, you could see, 
fuel pump throttle intake manifold timing cover timing belt we're gonna have to buy a new one of those engine head cover i think we've basically repaired all of those we need a new abs module and pump but that will go in the car air filter goes in the car oil filter idle roller, roller belt tensioner those are timing gear stuff so that's could be cam gear okay so back to the business at hand what is next? What is next is we can put some pistons with con rods in it. That's 56%. We're only responsible for replacing two. Actually, pull that one again. Because two and four are the ones that need to be repaired. And again, this is the front. That's where our timing gears are. So this would be one. We're going to return that one here, and we're going to put the next one here in three. And what we need is two pistons with con rods. Let's go back to our um, tablet. Come on, man. I should have just typed it in. Boop, boop, boop. Let's be. Piston with Conrad, we want two of those, and we need piston rings, we'll take two of those. All right. I don't know why I was looking at the ceiling, but typically when I'm using my tablet, I like to, uh, wherever I am or whatever I'm doing, I like to just stop and point my face straight up in here <laughs> so that's four and this is going to be two um there it is yes all right so before we do that we want to secure the pistons by putting on the uh rod caps right They're all 56. I don't think the, con uh, the rod caps were on the list, so I think we can go ahead and reuse them. Again, he bought this used. I'm sure he doesn't want to spend enough money to basically rebuild the entire car. He's hoping to make out with a deal. So what we're going to try and do is get it reset for him. Let's throw an I-4 oil filter on. Oop. Oil. Oil filter I-4. It's the blue one. Not even sure if I needed to replace the oil filter. Yep, that was 14%. Okay. So there's the underside of our vehicle. And I think we can flip her over. And uh, engine head compared to 100%. Uh, camshaft. 56% that can go back in but this one needs to be replaced so camshaft shaft camshaft just said camshaft so we're just going to buy a camshaft there's that Engine head cover, I think. Ooh, no, it was not. It was not. Engine head cover for I-4. Let's get that done real quick. Um, can I just put in head cover? Engine head cover for an I-4. Right there. That's the one. Thank you. And that way, we won't have to worry about anything disturbing the, cr the camshafts. Oh, 
one, two. I think that's how it was, right? Or was it reversed? Forgot to make a mental note of where where they were. I think it's gonna be it'll be fine though, I'm sure. Ignition coils. Okay, so that's tucked up. The fuel rail I believe is okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Intake manifold was fixed to 100%. Looks much better. I do like the way the new parts look. Boy, they are sharp looking. Okay, throttle was fixed to 100%. All that. Fuel filter is 56%. You can go ahead and put that back on. Um, the flywheel was in good shape. The clutch plate was in good shape. Uh, pressure plate was okay. And the bearing. Okay, so there's that. What else do we got? Not letting me put the uh, exhaust manifold on though for some reason. Cam gear 57%. Cam gear 29%. That needs a replacement. Cam gear. Thank y'all. Let's get around to the front because we're going to be doing timing issues here. Put that cam gear on. Timing belt. I think it's shot. Yes. So just your straight ahead timing belt. My cap lock got hit. Timing belt. Thank you. Timing belt. What else we got? Timing cover I4. We got that taken care of on the bench. Locked in. Crank, uh, crankshaft pulley needs to be replaced. Idle roller needs to be replaced. Water pump needs to be. <laughs> so water. Um, I think it just said water pump, right? Dag nabbit. It slipped my mind. Water pump I4. Of course, of course. It's an I4. Why didn't it why wouldn't it be in a water pump I4? Um idle roller, right? It's like Billy Idol. That's <laughs> that's not that's not what you talk about, Pete. Now you're showing your ignorance. You're ignorant. Never met a man more ignorant. All right. Idol roller A or B? I think it's an A. Measure, measure twice, cut once, right? Idle roller A and a crankshaft pulley for an I-4. Okay. Idle roller A and a crankshaft pulley. For an I-4. Booyakasha! All right, let us add the crankshaft pulley for the I-4, which we just purchased. Let us put this idle roller A back in. And this water pump. How 
about serpentine belt B and more than likely serpentine belt A. No, serpentine belt A is good. Serpentine belt B is what we need. Serpentine belt B. Right? Serpentine belt. B. No, we were right. Okay. Whoo. Whoo. Freaked myself out again a little bit there. Belt tension at 32%. You know what we do, right? We consult the list. What's on the list? Belt tensioner anywhere? Yep, belt tensioner right there. Okay. The reason why we're not getting any of the check marks off of the list is because we've we're rebuilding the engine on the stand. If we were doing all of this within the engine compartment, each one of those would get checked off as we were doing it. So this is probably the harder way to do it. Probably easier to just do it inside the engine bay. That way you can see that, you know, have things get checked off as you're doing them. Um, I just chose them to do them this way because I kind of like it. <laughs> no other no other reason than that, really. We need a tension torsion thing. Tension. Personally, I think there's too much tension in the world. I think we all need to take a, take a big step back, maybe put our heads down on our desks for a little while. You know what I mean? But that's me. And I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright, so there's the belt tensioner. We got that on there. Oh, oh. We're still in, yeah, we're still in that mode, which is good. Take a look. I think the power plant is pretty much done. I don't understand why it's not letting me put the exhaust manifold on, though. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go get the jack, the engine jack. I'll put this over by lift one. We are going to remove this. Take off engine from crate. They call it a crate for some reason. But we're going to do this. Oh, I missed it. Didn't I? There we go. Uh, install engine. This is the only one we have that's in our possession. It's at 82. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So it thinks I'm swapping the engine. So this doesn't work. Don't do, don't do what I just did. Because <laughs> that does not install engine into the car. Okay, you can go back because you're not helping me at all. So let's put this back on. We're going to add that one back on. Now what we have to do is literally take the thing apart again. Because I can't put it on that way. Oh, that's a huge bummer. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't even pay to, you know, if you if it's a job order, just leave the you leave everything in the car. It does not make sense to try and do it on the jack stand. I was hoping because it's, to me it seems like if you got to pull the the uh, block, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't it just make more sense just to throw it all together on a stand and then install the whole thing? I guess not. Well, at least we know we've got everything we need, right? We're gonna, well, we're gonna have to replace all, take all of this stuff off. So we're gonna need to remove the
There it is, okay. I was gonna say, why won't it? All right. Sorry about that, folks. That was a tremendous waste of time. I'm so sorry. But that's how, you, that's how you find out about things, right? I mean, I didn't realize you couldn't do that. I thought for sure that would be no big deal. We just rebuild it on the stand and then put it in. But I guess it's a bit of an issue. Because it sees it as, as me swapping out a different engine. But that's not, you know, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just putting the, the old engine back in. But not really that con it's not that difficult really for this pretty straightforward the only problem that bugs me is I'm losing time I was hoping to get a bunch of a bunch of projects done I mean a bunch of uh, jobs done and it's that's gonna look like maybe I'll get this one done but that'll be about it because we're already we're actually in about an hour already so um, we will try to hurry up get this put back in hopefully we'll be done and maybe we could grab a quick quick one or two of these maybe the I didn't look at what they what came in I was just kind of grabbing I try to grab the ones that are going to expire and just have those come in and then get those before they disappear. Um, but so I'm not real sure what a, a bunch of them are, but you know, some of them could be, uh, one, you know, one or two of them might be just exhaust issues, loud when accelerating or whatever. And we could, we could pound those out pretty quickly. Loud when it accelerates, change the oil. Again, we can turn those over relatively quickly. So maybe we'll run a little bit late, but um, but I got caught experimenting. So. All right, give me that. I'm not going to turn it over. Just give it to me. <laughs> Just give it to me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back, back here. Install engine block. Um, all right. So the next thing is, and this is the other thing that's a lot of back and forth. Raise it up. We gotta get the crankshaft in there. Can I, can I put the, the pistons in here from down here? Oh, I can't. Cool. Nope. Accessible for, <laughs> accessible from the engine bay. Remember how I told you always shut the hood? You should always shut the hood. I'm not going to worry about it right, <laughs> right now because um, they got me running around here like crazy man. Yes, yes, go. Yes, yes, go. No. And I'm not really paying too much attention to where everything goes because, you know, I don't think in the end it's going to make a, that big a difference. But as long as we replace the ones that need to be replaced. Okay. 
Manifold, exhaust manifold. I know we did take care of that, so that's... Covers at 56%. I don't think that's on the list, so... Okay. Okay, throttle. Where is that? What else? Timing gears. Nope. Timing belts. Timing cover. Crankshaft pulley. Water pump. We got that, we know that. We got the idle roller A and the tensioner. All right. Okay. I think we did it. I think we got it. Okay, so now if we look at it, you can see ABS module, ABS pump, air filter, oil filter. We got the oil filter. We're going to need a new air filter. Cam gear. Wait a minute. What? What? The cam gear? I got a new cam gear. Do I need another one? Alright, well, I guess we'll replace both of them. I don't need to take off the alternator, do I? Or the power steering pump? No, good. Good, good, good. But I will have to take off the engine head cover again. No, I don't. Okay. Fifty-seven percent. That's a hundred. So I'm gonna get. I think it said cam gear, didn't it? Cam gear. Let's try. Let's try installing them in the opposite order, maybe. So let's put this one here. The one hundred percent on this side. We'll put this one over here. Fifty-seven percent. Cam gear, check mark. Yeah, see? Sometimes that's it. I mean, sometimes it can really be a stickler, and since other times it's not, you know, it's not a big deal. But that cam gear, obviously, the one on that side needed to be replaced, so they wanted you to replace that one. Belt tensioner. Okay, so ABS module and ABS pump. ABS module, we're gonna buy one of those, and a pump, we'll buy one of those. I should go to brakes because we need a new brake servo as well. Let's see if we can't finish stuff up here and then. We can move to jacking up the car, and we can get that done. Get that stuff done underneath, so. All right, 
Anything else? Fuel filter. We need the fuel filter, but that wasn't on the list, so we'll put the old one back. Uh, we need a new air filter. We don't need a new air filter base. But we do need a new air filter. All oh, air filter. Thank you. Nope. Cover back on, clips go back on. Oops. There we go. All right, let's check our list. Oil filter 1A, I have that. Spark plug. Oh, spark plug is in the wrong place. And so is an ignition coil. Okay. Okay. Um, Turbocharger isn't put back on yet. Piston with... Ah. Oh, man. You're killing me. This is all exhaust. So I'm going to have to go back and... Same thing, pitched in with Conrad. I've got it in the wrong spot. Remember how I said what I said? Well, I was wrong. This one, I think. If I'm going to try something here, let me just try this. Yep, so that's it. So the broken pistons or conrods are two and four. All right, two and four. Okay, so, and this is one, two, and four needed to be replaced. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try, we have to, we have to redo this whole thing. Hey, Freak86, Freako, what's going on, man? Um, unfortunately, I appreciate you chiming in and saying hi, but I, uh, it's been an hour, and I, gotta, I, I actually got to go. And uh, what's happened is I made the repairs. I just put certain things in the wrong spot, um, namely this piston with Conrad is in the wrong spot. So I'm going to have to break this engine down um, for a third time. I don't know if you were here, <laughs> but initially um, the engine block had to be very good, man. Very good by me. Thank you very much for asking. Um, but uh, the engine block had to be replaced, so I rebuilt it on the stand. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it back in, so I had to break it down there and then rebuild it here. And when I did that, I wound up putting... Uh, I pumped around up putting the piston with con rod, connecting rod, piston with connecting rod in the wrong position. And so it's not giving me credit for doing the repair, which means I have to take the whole thing apart again, rebuild it again, just to kind of move the uh, piston. They were cylinders one and four, uh, one and two and four that were broken. I have a feeling I will, um, in my haste to rebuild it, what I did was I put the fixed, I put 100% piston in the number one slot when it should have gone in the number four. I have not buttoned it up underneath. Maybe I'll try it. Well, no, see, because I got to take, I got to take the fuel rail off. I got to take the intake manifold off. I got to take the exhaust manifold off just to get the engine head off. And I don't think I can take, I don't think I can take the piston off. Uh-oh. I don't think I can take the piston off under the engine. So this is the front of the engine. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I did. But I can't, I can't take it off. Okay. So 
The mistake is mine. I should have put that in four, but I put it in one. Um, and we are. We're going to have to go through this one more time. We have to take everything off so we can get to... I was really hoping to get to a lot more projects than this. And what <laughs> the story mission kind of kind of got off on a, uh, a bad wheel there. Okay. Nope. What... Serpentine belt A first. Okay. Frico, do you play uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018? I enjoy this game. I enjoy this game. I also, yes, yeah, I did the same thing with this um, cam, uh, cam gear. I put it on the wrong cam. Uh, and it, so it didn't give me credit. I'll just have to remember the 100% one has to be on the right side. I think, let's see if we can't get this done here quickly. I got all the parts, so it's not an issue of having to get parts. I got everything. I just don't literally taking this thing apart for the third time today. Fuel rail. There we go. Okay. And now I'm like, I'm in overtime. So don't, don't tell anybody. You started three days, like, three days ago? That's cool. I really like it. I've gotten, I've gotten hooked on it. Um, come on. All right, why are you not letting me grab these pistons? No, I don't want that one. I want this one. All right, so this needs to go in here. Four. That's where we... Come on. I don't know why that's so finicky. Oop, don't. All right, so one in... Uh, one in three. Before I go further, though, I only want to double check. One and three. Pistons with connecting rods, two checks. Okay, so we're good with that. Oh, what a pain, huh? They're having trouble raising money. Um... Keep working at it. You'll get there. I gotta double check everything now, otherwise, because I don't want to get to the end and wind up in the same camshaft. Nope, didn't give me credit. So we're going to switch up these camshafts. <laughs> okay. So the 100, the 100 percent should go here. This one will go here. The new cam gear will go here, and then the old one goes here. Double check. Discount double check. Throttle engine timing. Cam gear check mark. Cam shaft check mark. Okay, we're proceeding on to the next step. <laughs> Which will be the timing belt. We know that's 100%. That's okay. There's only one of those. We can get the gear, uh, cover back on. That's all right. Crankshaft pulley is okay. That's not... Uh, no two of those. Bridal rollers, okay. Water pump's okay. There's only one of those, so we don't have to worry about mixing that up. Oh, serpentine belt B and then A. We gotta get the tension belt tension around there. Okay, so now the timing gears are rebuilt. That's done. Over here, we're gonna throw the head cover on now. This is another one of those ones. Okay, one, two, and four were the ones that needed new spark plugs. So we're going to put 100% there. We're going to put a 100% here and a 100% there. Okay. And then this one, K2 
gets the 56%. Same thing with the ignition coils. We need one, two, and four. And then three can get one of the older ones. That's fine. Double check. Throttle, intake, manifold, timing cover, okay. Excuse me for a second. One order after the other. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got all three of our spark plugs in the right spots. We got all three of our ignition coils right in the right spot. We got the exhaust manifold. We were able to rebuild that on the bench. And we'll put our cover back on. There you go. Then we're going to come around the back. We're going to get the intake manifold. Oh, the fuel rail first. Fuel rail, then the intake manifold. And then the throttle. Very good. And throttle. Those were rebuilt on the bench, so those were okay. Um, what's what's left? What's left? I think we got the in. No, well, that's got to do that underneath. We can't do this up here. See, assemble from underneath. So that's an underneath. Um, I think we could throw the radiator back in. That was not an issue. Neither was the housing or the fan. So that can go back in. Oil filter, we'll do that. Turbocharger. We need to get the turbocharger back in. I don't think, uh, I don't think that was repaired on the bench, was it? doesn't even let me put it in there why doesn't it oh, I gotta put the uh, front exhaust section in turbo accessible from under the lifter but I think I'm gonna have to rebuild I gotta oh current I did it again I gotta rebuild the entire exhaust system so um yeah so what we need is Front exhaust section turbo. Exhaust, front exhaust section turbo. Front exhaust. Uh, that's my level. The orange, that's the, that little orange number 39, that's what level I'm at. Um, the green one next to it, obviously, that's your experience points. Um, the blue four is how many calls I have waiting for me. And then uh, next to that is, is the amount of money that I've been able to, to make. I need a front exhaust turbo. Turbo. That's it. Why wasn't it? I didn't see it in the exhaust section, front exhaust section turbo. All right, so we're going to buy that. Um, actually, before we do that, let's do this. Nope. All right. Almost forgot to put my uh, rod caps back on and my oil pan. Did I not put in? I didn't put in my bearing shit caps either. That's right, I left everything to wait before until I got. I hope so. Thanks for stopping in, Frico. It was really good talking to you, man. Have a great day. All right, so uh, it's always nice. I, it, that's one thing I have enjoyed about. Um, Car mechanic simulator. This I get. I have the like the best conversations with people. I meet some really nice people while playing with car mechanic simulator. So another bonus. Um. All right. There's that. What was that? We got to put the turbo in. I got to do that from the engine bay. Of course. Of course I do. 
course I do. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get this going. Alright, here we go. Oh, I got a frog in my throat. Sorry about that. Turbocharger is still dead, so we still need a new turbocharger. I think it just said turbocharger, right? Yeah, it just says turbocharger. Okay, so we just need a turbocharger. Turbocharger. Alright, turbocharger here. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, my, my throat is cached right now. Okay, so we gotta hurry up and do this. Catalytic converter, middle muffler, rear muffler I4. Catalytic converter, middle muffler, and a rear muffler I4. Um... Catalytic converter. Muffler I4. Middle muffler. Okay, here we go. Catalytic converter. Metal muffler. Need an exhaust pipe. Straight ahead exhaust pipe. And then we'll be done. I, I went over time here. I went <laughs> I went deep on this one. Um, but it's a story mission. Story missions tend to be a little bit more of an issue. Um, where are we at and what are we doing? We got to rebuild the front end. That's what we got to do. That's it. Okay. All right, let's button her up. Button her up and get her done with. First, we got to get over to the gear box. Flywheel, clutch plate, clutch pressure plate, and... Drive shaft, front drive axle C, okay, same thing here, we got to get front drive axle C on there. All right, so here I am. Oh my God, my throat. Killing me. Sorry about that. I am deeply, deeply sorry about that. But it is killing me. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down. We do have to put oil in the engine. And then I think we're done. I think we're gonna be done with this engine. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. All right, let's check the dipstick. Oh. All right, back out of this. We got nothing but green check marks. I like that. We got check, check green check mark here. 
Money spent $8,564. Our bonus is $8,353. The job bonus $4,189 for a total payout of $22,161. Oh, there is no starter on the car. Oh, I always forget that. Luckily, we can reach that from the front here. I always forget the starter. Always. Nope. There you go. Quick gander. What do we got? Poor brake performance. Oh, uh, that's going to take a while. It won't take very long, but... Place timing related parts. Poor brake performance. Gears keep slipping. Find and fix all gearbox problems. That's going to be a little bit... That'll take some time. You are going to move to a uh, lift one. You're going to move to lift two. What do you got? Transmission is noisy. Repair all gearbox faults. Gears, gearbox shifts rough. Okay, then you can go to three. Well, let's bring in another one. We got eight seconds on this Royal Bianco. Bring that in there. Who did we miss it? I think we missed it. Dang it. Royal Bronco, Bianco. Vehicle cannot be started. Lack of engine power. Okay. You're going to slide over out of the way, and then there it is, folks. This is going to be the next episode. we got uh, three cars and a camper, and we'll be back to take care of those. Thanks for hanging out with me. Freako86, uh, it was nice talking to you. I always appreciate talking to everybody and anybody who wants to chime in and be nice and, and talk about the game. Um, until next time, be safe, be well, be good, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.